Welcome to the Wilmot Grinders um, knife grinding workshop. This is my backyard workshop. There is my little home. Uh, and I'm Chris Williams. Welcome to uh, my workshop. I'm going to show you some of the tools I use to make grinders and knives. Introduce you to uh, a good buddy of mine. He's a knife maker also, Jack Stottlemyre. Show you um, how we make our grinders what we use and uh, just give you a little taste of what we do every day here. So come on in the workshop. I'll start out in the first room. This is uh, what I call the clean room. It's not really that clean right now. But I'll start from the entryway which is kind of here. I have a new machine called a guilliche. Uh, it's, it's a French engraving machine. I, I haven't really figured it out yet. But I'll get there. It makes things like this. It's like this. It's kind of a spiral graph. Anyway, um, some of the knives I've made are against the wall here. I, I put them on the wall as I make them, so they're in chronological order. There's the first knife I ever made right there. And I marked it, although it must be marked on the other side. There's a second knife I ever made. And coming down, this is in the order in which I made them. I'll come up here. That's a Damascus, cable Damascus. Um, Little um, bush, little bush um, knife. Going down, got into hidden tangs down here. File knives. Uh, so these are all projects of mine on the wall. Um, an engraving station over here. I'm learning engraving. I, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Um, hardness tester there. Some knives that need handles, engraving station, um, some folders I'm working on. They still need some love. Anyway, um, that is uh, the clean room. I'll take you and show you the rest of the shop. All right, this is where we normally have a demo grinder setting, but someone bought it, so I, I, I gotta get another one going. This is where I normally assemble grinders on these two benches, but we're at this time processing laser cut steel. I just got this in the other day, all this steel. I'll show you the rest of the shop. The CNC is just finishing making a bracket for the flat platen. So it is making this part right here. And this part needs one more process done, needs one more slot machined right here. It's not been done yet. So I'm making about 250 of these parts. I've got uh, my bridge port going. There's a lathe here. The bridge port is countersinking some holes I drilled this morning on these little toolbars. These little pivoting bars that, for a little buddy grinder. I've got another mill right here. It's a Enco, I believe. Surface grinder set up with a belt. I've got a chop saw, a lapping machine, a stove over there that I parkerize with and make Kydex. In my Kydex station. Come around the corner, I have my backup hardness tester, a wood cutting band saw, a vibratory tumbler, um, a grinder I use to grind my carbide for the lathe, shelves that just hold stock um, for my toolbars mostly. These are all processed uh, as these and these, and the rest need to be processed. Here's more parts. Most of these parts are finished. They've been machined, anodized, or zinc coated. So they're here just waiting assembly of, of my grinders. But what we mostly needed were the big parts, which are here or in my blacksmithy. They're here on the table. These are all being processed now. And there's one of my laborers. That's Jack Stottlemyre. Laborer, really? <laughs> Jack is a knife maker, a local knife maker. He comes over and helps me. Uh, just Plus he's. Knives. That's Jack of Rustic Don't Knives. Don't crap by mine. Uh, when I uh, get behind, Jack comes over and gives me a hand, and I, you know, appreciate it. Thank you, Jack. The rest of the shop is a blacksmithy. Jack and I make uh, Damascus here every winter. Um, we're in the middle with that, that forge right there, and these two power hammers. We're in the middle of that bar right there, and there's probably ten back here that are all half done. We kind of my Kydex which I need to cut up and put in the rafters. More steel. The grinding room's in here. 
I'll start from the entryway, doorway, bead blast cabinet, two Vader grinders, one fixed speed, one variable, um, a grinder in a box, five arm grinder I can't talk about, KMG, a little buddy grinder, which is a new grinder of ours, it's an economical grinder, a very, about a thousand dollar grinder, it's nice, it's um, a triple arm grinder set up in horizontal mode, and a hor uh, triple arm grinder set up in vert vertical mode. I was working on a run of knives this week, and um, here's a few that I was working on. And a new little skinner I've got. Got rusted. Got a little, got a little moisture on it. Um, and some more. And some various knives that didn't cut the grade, so they, they get thrown in the bucket. Given to a new knife maker at a later date. Let them finish them up. Wasn't happy with that grind right there. Looks tough, but I'm not, I, don't, I don't like it. Okay. Uh, Hope you can see me. Yeah. So uh, anyway, uh, I just wanted to give you a quick tour of the shop and, and how we make grinders here. Um, when I get behind, I call my buddy Jack, who makes knives here in town. I only have knife makers helping me. If you're not a knife maker and you don't know one of my grinders, then, then, then I guess I just get behind. <laughs> you know, uh, we're, 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 we're behind at this time, and Jack's giving me a hand. Um, and you've seen shop. If you've got any questions, shoot us an email, or if you're in the area, Fayetteville, North Carolina, give a call and come on by. You're, you're more than welcome to visit the shop and see the grinder in person. And hang out for the weekend. Come out on a Saturday. Make knives with us. Do Thank something. You. Thank you. We'll put you to work. <laughs>